guys, what's going on? It's Ray from Mobile Pancakes, and I want to talk about Feedly. We've talked about uh, or heard about Google Reader going away, and so I've installed Feedly on a several different devices. Here we see the Nexus 4. Uh, one of the things I love about this app is not only did it, did it pull over my Google Reader stuff, but the way that you interact with it swipes up and down, left and right. Here you can see if we swipe in from the right, you actually get the chance to uh, look at different fees that you may not be subscribed to already. Uh, you can also do searches for different things, and uh, you'll see how it can do a few little searches, maybe search for Apple, um, and it'll pull up different things. Uh, for us related to Apple different feeds and you can join those here or you can browse through them which is very very cool um, it's very graphical so there's a lot of uh, you know pictures and things of that nature that you can look at which makes consumption uh, on the Feedly app so so nice so I've done a search here for Android and you can see we got all the usual suspects right uh, so let's look at what it looks like for a particular story so I dove into a uh, video game uh, feed here you can see up and down uh, if I select a story I can go into it and then I can go left and right to go uh, from story one through story three um, once you're inside of a story you get uh, the ability to directly tweet or Facebook or you can actually even share uh, to any particular app that you want now, I don't have Twitter hooked up but um, if we go back in and uh, click on the share button you can share with any kind of app so they've got direct cut to uh, Twitter and direct cut to Facebook um, also on the swipe from the left you actually get the menu and the menu is very very nicely laid out so you can see I can look at my Google uh, unread uh, things I can look at things that haven't been categorized yet um, and it's just it's really easy to get around this app it's almost almost too easy um, it would seem uh, so if we look in here I can look at uncategorized things these are things that uh, have not had a particular category put uh, to them from a feedly standpoint and then there's my settings now uh, one of the cool things is got to actually turn on night mode so if I'm reading this in the bed or I don't want to disturb someone it'll dim the screen uh, colors and make everything kind of muted um, and I can actually go back in and change that back to the daytime mode which is kind of a bright white easy to read in uh, greater light situations okay so let's kick over and see what this thing looks like on the iPad mini so I've got the iPad mini here let's load up Feedly great thing about this is same look and feel between both of the devices right and that is so cool uh, you can see the menu items on the left hand side here everything is almost exactly the same and it makes going from different devices so so easy uh, you can see scrolling up and down it's the same functionality that we had on the Nexus 4 um, you can also do that same thing on the Nexus 4 so once you're inside of a story you can uh, tap hold and then swipe to do certain different things um, if I go from left to right just swiping of course it's going from story to story and you can see uh, we actually had the ability to play that audio file in line um, once again here you can see the Engadget um, feed show up again so you can see what that looked like on the old uh, I mean the other device versus here um, it just makes this thing really really easy once again you also got the ability to share directly uh, cut directly to Twitter or cut directly to Facebook um, or whatever you're sharing is right? so um, here I'm kind of showing where you can do the save for later I think on the Nexus 4 I didn't save anything but on here um, I did actually save some things I haven't tested on whether or not the saved items are actually synced between the different um, devices or uh, pumped up to Feedly and then brought back down but that would be even more awesome if that's the case and so I'll, I'll let you guys know in the comments so let's look at the Nexus 10 right everybody talks about the Nexus 10 and how there's no apps for it same deal here uh, except for there this app looks wonderful on the Nexus 10 um, you see the menu the scrolling the functionality is the same scroll up and down to go between different feeds I can tap and uh, scroll to the left to do certain things on a story the menus are the same everything looks pretty much in works pretty much the same across the different platforms which is awesome so like I said before I really enjoy this app um, the Feedly app it comes in uh, all the formats so you can get it for the Nexus 
uh, cell phone, you can get it for the uh, Nexus 10 tablet, uh, the Nexus 7, uh, also the iPod uh, and the iPod, uh, the iPad uh, formats, and they all pretty much work seamlessly, and they look super, super great. So if you're coming from Google Reader, like a lot of people have, and I think the numbers said that uh, Feedly uh, got downloaded 500,000 extra times uh, since Google announced that they're going to be getting rid of Google Reader, Feedly, you would not be going wrong. You can also read this uh, Feedly uh, from inside of like Chrome. Uh, if you go to Feedly.com slash home, you have to actually sign up for the service. So go check it out. It's Feedly.